Ladies and gentlemen, Oprah Winfrey and Will Smith. Over there, over there, people over there. <laughs> Hi, everybody. The story of the African American journey in their own words. This is what they said History, despite its wrenching pain, cannot be unlived, but if faced with courage, need not be lived again. Maya Angelou. I think, did you just challenge me to a poetry battle? <laughs> All right. Langston Hughes called the poem Harlem. What happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun or fester like a sore and then run? Does it stink like rotten meat or crust and sugar over like a syrupy sweet? Maybe it just sags like a heavy load or does it explode? I have been in sorrow's kitchen. <laughs> and I licked out all the pots. And then I stood on the peaky mountain wrapped in rainbows with a harp and a sword in my hands. Sometimes I feel discriminated against, but it doesn't make me angry. It merely astonishes me. How can anyone deny themselves the pleasure of my company? It's beyond me. So wrote Zora Neale Hurston, a writer in the Harlem Renaissance. We love Miss Zora. Okay. Okay. How's it going? Okay. How's it going? Uh, I mean, I mean, that was hot. That was hot. <laughs> um, uh, what are the blues? They are homegrown black music that acknowledge the tenuous nature of all human existence, an heroic response to what is called the human condition. We invented the blues. Europeans invented psychoanalysis. You invent what you need. <laughs> Albert Murray wrote that. <laughs> okay, so here's one of my favorites. Toni Morrison, mm -hmm. the winner of the Nobel Prize for Literature, yes. said this, if there's a book you want to read, but it hasn't been written yet, then you must be the one to write it. Yes. Toni Morrison. Toni Morrison. All said right. that. That's hot. And then she wrote Blue Sky right yes. after that. Yes. Yeah. You got hot stuff. Yours are hot. Yours are really hot. <laughs> um, change does not roll in on the wheels of inevitability, but it comes through continuous struggle. And so we must straighten our backs and work for our freedom. A man cannot ride your back unless your back is bent. So said Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Woo. Okay. 